waiting on the payload adapter. After transfer to the bath on the 27th, it was hoisted onto the launcher on the 30th and encapsulated under SILDA and fairing on the 31st of May. The Ariane launch readiness review held on Monday authorizes the beginning of the final chronology with the launch vehicle transfer to the launch pad in order to be ready to launch today. Already back in uh, Jupiter and look at that uh, beautiful Ariane 5 ECA standing on the pad and what's even more beautiful just to its right we are all green right now at under four minutes to go to launch everything is green and again in Corbu green means go uh, look at how the weather has uh, cleared up you know I'm a NASCAR fan they'd call this Bill France weather uh, clearing up uh, for uh, the launch uh, uh, this evening and uh, uh, we never had a problem with weather uh, tonight it was yesterday that weather was the issue uh, but it looks like uh, we're moving uh, rapidly now toward uh, the uh, three minute mark uh, in the uh, countdown again history tonight being made with uh, this historic uh, heavy payload over 10,700 30 kilos and uh, again made up of Echo Star with 6,300 kilos, Echo Star 18 for Dish Network and uh, Breesat at 3540 uh, the remainder the Silda and the support structures again uh, you know hats off to the engineers here at uh, the space base who have worked so hard to squeeze out additional performance from the Ariane 5 ECA all of the engineers involved with it we set a record back on the VA 212 back in February 2013 uh, and tonight uh, we break that record uh, by 337 kilos closing in on the uh, two minute mark uh, before uh, the uh, launch uh, this evening and I'm getting excited because like I say I've I've been here quite a while and I have been waiting for this moment as we get close uh, uh, to uh, the actual countdown and lift off. So uh, at the uh, two minute mark you see those uh, two arms surrounding the Ariane 5 in Kourou. They're called the bra. They're not actually holding uh, the 780 ton rocket upright. That's gravity's job. The arms support the fuel lines which are topping off the liquid propellants we keep doing that till just before the launch and then those arms will pull back well they've been waiting a long time too and the VIPs are now heading out onto the balcony to uh, watch the launch in the uh, sundown here in Karu bathed in sunlight it is uh, going to be quite a show coming up in a minute 20 seconds from right now uh, as the Ariane 5 gets set to go they're going to be watching it from uh, the balconies that's 13 kilometers from the Ariane Attention 5 the launch site Attention pour moins une minute. there's the announcement we've been waiting for Top. H0 moins une minute. We are under one minute to go. We welcome everybody from around the world watching the live webcast on arianspace.com. Greetings to our friends watching at Airbus Defense and Space in Europe, Echo Star and Dish Network, their headquarters in Inglewood, Colorado, PT Bank Rocket in Jakarta, SSL in Palo Alto, California, Kness and Arian Space in Paris, all of our industry partners all across Europe. Uh, even my wife, who's waited so long for me to get back to uh, to Denver. Only moments to go, and uh, we will hear the famous countdown in French from Carou. Enjoy the show. A tous de l'EDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, stop. Allumage de l'UCAM. Allumage de la décollage. Paramètres à bord sont nominaux.
time for the history books, and in the memory of the late, great Muhammad Ali, the rumble in the Amazon jungle tonight is that mighty Aryan 5 ECA as she roars into the sky above Karu. My tenth time that I've called a launch takes my breath away every time. We're 57 seconds into the flight, Aryan 5 breaking the sound barrier here in Karu, and the massive Jupiter facility beginning to shake right now as the launcher roars out over Devil's Island, made famous by the movie Papillon. 1,300 tons of thrust breaking the Ariane 5, free from the bonds of Earth's gravity. 90% of that power coming now from the two boosters, each one 31 meters tall, 100 feet. They're burning 240 tons of solid propellant in two minutes, more than two tons a second. When the boosters have done their job, and that will be in less than a minute from now, Ariane will be 70 kilometers in the sky, traveling more than a mile a second, faster than a speeding bullet. And uh, you can see on the bottom of the screen the numbers, uh, pertinent numbers for tonight's launch. Uh, and that data being uh, collected from Galliot, a tracking station on the big hill behind us here at Jupiter. Engineers there evaluating all the data in real time. 207 into the flight, the VIP is still on the patio and uh, they're waiting for the burnout and jettison of the twin solid rocket boosters coming up in about three seconds from right now. And you will be hearing the announcement of the separation of the EAPs, the boosters, and uh, the boosters will have uh, done their job. Uh, they will uh, fall away and we uh, won't uh, need them uh, any longer. And uh, that will uh, be occurring. There you see the animation. Um, we've now lost about 600 tons worth of uh, weight. The mass of the launcher, 180 tons, uh, and all that's gone in about two minutes. The lighter we get, the faster we go. The next major event uh, will be the jettisoning of the fairing. We'll see that in a moment. It'll be gone in a few seconds. And it has uh, uh, protected the satellites on the ground and in their early minutes of the flight into uh, the sky. There you see the animation of uh, the quaff or the fairing uh, going away. Uh, we just lost two more tons. There's some great video from an earlier mission showing what it looks like as that fairing it drops away. And the launcher is now 118 kilometers above Earth. We're technically in space. We still have a long, long way to go, however. I call your attention uh, to the animation. You see all the numbers on the bottom of the screen. And uh, we also will be watching uh, uh, the desired flight path uh, in a moment on the upper right-hand side of the screen. See that curve and the green dot? We want to follow that curve perfectly. That means our performance is nominal. More key officials at uh, Jupiter, uh, Bruno Girard, the Vice President of Aryan Space responsible for the establishment here in uh, uh, French Guiana. Uh, Joel Donadel, the head of ESA's uh, uh, offices here in uh, Karu, and uh, Bernard Chamoul, the head of CSG for uh, Kines. Uh, the main cryogenic stage, or EPC, now burning. It uh, burn, burns for about uh, uh, nine minutes. And the EPC is really just a huge fuel tank. It uh, holds 150 tons liquid oxygen, 25 tons of liquid uh, hydrogen. That engine gulping 320 kilometer, uh, kilograms, 700 pounds of fuel a second. That's 500 times more than a jet engine. You know, I have absolutely no idea what the fuel mileage is on the Ariane 5, but it is built for speed and power, and in that arena, who cares about fuel economy? Uh, it is a workhorse. And 
Yeah, there you see uh, that uh, we're moving out over the Atlantic Ocean. You know, I live in Denver, and one of the questions I frequently get from people is, why do I come here to French Guiana for a rocket launch? When do you come down here? Well, the space base is only 500 uh, kilometers, 300 miles north of the equator. The Earth rotates faster at the equator than it does, say, at Kennedy Space Center in Florida. Thus, the Ariane 5 gets a huge boost from the Earth's rotation. This allows satellite operators, in many cases, to launch heavier payloads, add more fuel to their birds, and increase their operational life. And that generates more revenue. Just one more reason that Ariane Space is the undisputed champion of the commercial satellite launch industry. Oh, you know, and another question people ask, what about hurricanes? Well, I'm not a meteorologist, but the European Space Agency evaluated locations for the base. One thing they learned, hurricanes in the Western Hemisphere don't drop this low. Look at those pictures of the replay. Just six minutes, 28 seconds into flight as the Ariane 5 roared off the, the launch pad here in French Guiana. And, you know, seeing it roar off the pad reminds me of one other thing. You can never say never, uh, but French Guiana doesn't have earthquakes. So the only time the earth shakes down here is when that happens, which is one of the uh, huge Ariane 5s or the Soyuz or the Vegas uh, take to the sky from CSG. <laughs> we are right on track at the uh, seven-minute mark, and the rocket is currently 165 kilometers above the Earth. We're uh, moving on out uh, at uh, great speed tonight. Final target, 9.3 kilometers per second. And, you know, uh, a few more interesting uh, facts. Echo Star 18 and Brisat represent the 533rd and 534th satellites uh, to be launched uh, by Arian Space. They also are the 119th and 120th satellites to be placed into geostationary transfer orbit by the workhorse of the fleet. The Ariane 5 has been picked up by our tracking station in Natal, Brazil. Everything functioning perfectly right now. Tonight we're using five tracking stations. Uh, here in Coru, it's Gilat, uh, up on a large hill just south of us here at the launch base. Natal in Brazil, Ascension Island in the mid-Atlantic. The west coast of Africa, we've got Lieberville. And on the east coast of Africa, we have Melindi. Air, uh, Arian sends data to those ground stations, and that tells us how the flight is progressing in uh, real time. And you know, one of the secrets behind the whole thing is the teams evaluate absolutely every aspect of the mission. And they share that with all the customers. And every single time we fly this complex machine gets better and better. And the Ariane 5 ECA has definitely uh, proven itself. Our next major event, the cutoff of the main stage, or the EPC. And there's the de la propulsion de graphic principal cryotechnique image and the announcement from the DDO. The main stage has now completed its job and the upper stage has begun its mission. There you see images from a previous uh, flight. You notice the little flash of light there? Well, uh, the ignition, uh, just before ignition, small rockets on our side of the upper stage fired and that allowed the upper stage to move away and then we safely ignite its engine and continue on the journey. Of course, immediately we dumped off those small rockets uh, because, uh, again, the lighter rockets uh, fly faster. And uh, we will now burn the upper stage or the E. SC for about uh, 16 minutes. Time now to uh, hear about Echo Star.